Hi everyone, I'm going to do my September favourites for you now. I uh, hope you like it. Done the different background again, and I've got, even got a little candle in the back for ambiance. <coughs> so we'll start with nails. Um, the favourite ones for this month are the um, Barry M Jelly Shine in, it says chai, it's a grey colour basically, isn't it? I've been using that and then with some glitter on the top, so it's nails ink, glamour glitter, and like a gold small glitter on the top of that. If you'll see me on Instagram, then you would have seen um, the combination together. I haven't got it on at the moment, it's got a white, a kind of a white on them. But um, yeah, really liking those two. They're good, I bought that one in a recent haul. And then uh, shampoos, I've been using again from a recent haul the Ultimate Blends Shampoo and Conditioner with Argan and Camellia oils in. And they have been brilliant. As you can see, I'm using it um, quite a lot on the shampoo. Nearly every shampoo at the moment make my hair feel really conditioned and soft. So I'll be repurchasing these definitely when they do run out. I think they do a coconut oil one as well. I think I might try that next time. And then skincare wise, I've got um, the Micellar Water, the Garnier one, which I brought recently, and I've used a bit of that, as you can see. Um, I don't use it every night, I use my hot cloth cleanser. It's also a favourite, but I haven't got it with me at the moment, as I like the feel of the muslin cloth when it's, it scrubs your face a bit, but this is lovely and gentle on your face to get rid of your makeup and feel your skin feels smooth and that afterwards. Um, and then, after I've sort of cleansed at night and got rid of all the makeup, I tend to put some eye cream on, the Balance Me one, um, but then I've got this Balance Me Moisture Rich Face Cream. And it says plumps and smoothies, smoothies? <laughs> Smooths? For rejuvenated looking skin. Smooth. Um, this was, I luckily won this in a giveaway of other things from um, the Black Pearl blog, Sandra, so it was a good chance to try this out. I think this is a sample size, but I really like it, it's nice and thick. Um, for me, ideal to put on at night, so before I go to bed, I really like that one. And then, um, again, this is featured in my favourites quite a lot, and as you can see, I'm using it up quite a lot too, the L'Oreal Skin Perfection Serum. I use this every day before, after I've washed my face and before I've got my makeup on or BB cream what I've been putting on. So I really like this, it feels quite silky smooth on your skin. So that's skin wise and then makeup wise what I've been using quite a lot this month. I've gone back to a few old favourites what I used to wear a lot. Um, the Smoky Eye, Smoky Effect Eyeliner from Bourjois. And I've got two of these, I've got the black and the brown. This black I bought recently, it's the ultra black. And this brown one I've had for a few years now. Uh, the other one, black, original black, had run out. So yeah, you just got the pencil and then the brush at the end if you want to smudge the end of it. Which I, I normally do, but it's so creamy on your eyelids and it um, just goes on really easy because I find that other Pencils for me are a bit drying on my eyelids and they don't go on as well, but this one really does. I really like them. And again, Bourjois. Um, I've had this for a few years, but I rediscovered it again. Bourjois Smoky Eyes Trio. It's um, in the pink range. I don't think it's got a name as such. It just says Baked, um, baked Eyeshadows. Excuse me. There we go. Yeah, I use all them really, I like the light one and then the medium and the dark on the sides, but um, really pretty. I think they stand out more on brown eyes, I could be wrong, but um, yeah, I really like that, so I've gone back to them a lot. And what else? Yeah, an oldie but a goodie, it's featured in a few of my um, The Last Autumn Look and a few Instagram face of the day pictures, but the Rimmel bronzer. Again, I've had this a while, but it's hip pan now, but I really like it all over the face. I'm sticking to that at the moment every day. And then lips, um, I've got the Lasting Finish Thousand Kisses from Rimmel. 
I think they discontinued these. Um, this is in the shade Stay Very Berry 01. I got this from the Car Boot Hall when I was selling a low dog. And it's a felt tip on the end. I don't really see that, sorry. Felt tip on the end. I haven't got it on at the moment, but it's like a nice pink. And then the other side, you've got the, the balm. You go on that. That's, it stays quite well. I really like the, it's like an everyday colour. And with having dry lips, um, I do like a good balm. So I'll be using this quite a lot. And then when I do put any lipstick on, if I just want to feel like a bit conditioned or to plump my lips up a bit, I've been using this radial stem cell superfood glam balm. I bought this for you in a magazine a few months ago in the summer. I don't know if it was glamour or it was when they were doing a load of free ones like to clinic clinique. It's supposed to be 16 or 17 pounds, but I'd never pay that for a lip balm, but it, it, it's got like a rose smell to it faint rose smell and this is nice it just really plumps your lips up you could put it on top of lipstick as well because it is clear it's not tinted so yeah that's the makeup and I think that's everything sort of skin hair and makeup wise and nails uh, the other one I'm gonna write it down on my phone TV wise I've um, I'm still watching or we're still going through True Blood because we've watched all the series and um, I think we're on series four at the moment there's another three to go but really enjoying just if we do watch TV because we don't get often chance to sit down and watch TV if it is on a favourite series it's normally kids TV <laughs> but um, if it's not then it's True Blood I just stick an episode of that on it's just nice it's like reading a book isn't it it's just sort of a bit of escapism and then also TV wise, obviously Strictly Come Dancing is back on. Love Strictly. I'm a big, big fan of Strictly. Um, so I'm really glad that's back on. But being so busy, I didn't realise what date it was on. Then I flicked on last night, it was on. It was there. I'm like, oh, better watch it. So those, those are all taped and it's on tonight as well. So can't wait for that. I love Strictly. I went to watch it about four years ago in Nottingham Arena, my mum and sister. Um, when it was uh, Anne Widdicombe and she was uh, in the show, in the live show and she they put her on a, like a strip wire, whatever it is, I don't know what you call it, a trip, no, just a wire and then they flew her down from the top of the arena ceiling down to the actual, the, the stage where that Craig Revel Hall would have had a dance with it, it was, I've never laughed so much in my life, that was so funny, I'd really like to go see the, a live show again I think I'm just waiting for the right celebs to be in it, but yeah, really enjoyed that. So that is my September monthly favourites for this year, very short and sweet, but I hope you enjoyed it, give us a big thumbs up if you did, um, just let us know if any of those products you like as well or you don't like, but uh, thank you very much for watching and I'll see you soon, don't forget to subscribe, bye!